Hi guys, it's time for another In My Mailbox. I haven't done one in a few weeks because I didn't get that many books in, but this week I got a whole stack. It's kind of like Christmas, so let's get right to it. The first book I got, I actually got in my goodie bag from a conference I was at this past weekend for the New York Library Association School Library Media Specialists. And since the conference was held in Buffalo, the book is about Buffalo, and it's called Buffalo Unbound by Laura Peterson. It's not really the type of book I normally pick up, so I kind of love when these ones cross my path accidentally, so I kind of get to branch out a little bit, so I'm excited to read this one. The next book I also got for free at the conference, this one I got from a vendor. It's an ARC from February 2010, and it's called Possessed, and it's by Kate Can or Kate Kahn, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but the cover totally did me in. This week I got tons of book with, books with great covers, and this is just one of them, and it's called Possessed. The next book I got in on review from PHC Marchese, and another great cover. This is more of a middle grade book, and it counts for the debut author challenge. And it's called Shelby and Shauna Kitt and the Dimensional Holes. And this is another one that I'm just starting to get into middle grade books, and it's it's really fun so far. So I'm excited to read this one. Next book I won, and it's called Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. And this is another one that I probably never would have picked up on my own at the store, but it looks really interesting. The next book I did pick up. I've been hearing great things about this book, and when I saw it on the shelf at one of the vendors at the conference, I could not pass it up. And that is Chime by Franny Billingsley. And this is another just beautiful cover, so I can't wait, wait to get to this one. The next three are from the library first two count for the debut author challenge and literally that's why I picked them. They were on the list. They looked interesting. I requested them months ago and they're finally here. And the first one is The Latte Rebellion by Sarah Jamila Stevenson. Another fab cover. This is more of a contemporary fiction and it looks really interesting. Up next, The Great Wall of Lucy Wu by Wendy Wan Long Shang. Hopefully I didn't butcher that, but another debut author challenge book and another one that looks great. The last one feeds the addiction. You're used to seeing them here. And that is Jude Devereaux's Temptation. Haven't read a Jude Devereaux book in a couple weeks. This one came in about a week ago. I grabbed it. Can't wait to just kind of take a relaxing day and read it. So that's all my books this week. Um, I can't wait to start powering through them. I've got three weeks until school starts back up again for me, so I'm going to spend as much of that time reading as I can. Hope everyone else got some great books this week, and happy reading!